Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. Today, I'll be demonstrating on how to embed a planner plan to your SharePoint page. So, when you add a modern page to the site, you add the customized web parts, which are the building blocks of your page. So, what I'm trying to do is this video. I'm going to demonstrate on how to get this feature onto your SharePoint page, and I'm pretty sure everyone is going to love this, especially when after the, uh, the announcement of modern pages, I'm I'm really sure that everyone's really excited about this feature what we have because it's just it's 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 like a revolution right now we have a sharepoint complete makeover in terms of the ui so we have plenty of features that's available right now as a web part you can add them so some of the pain areas in terms of sharepoint development has been minimized and which ensures more of uh, better usability and you know the performance is just gone way ahead so i'm just going to work on the planner web part okay so now those who haven't used planner now microsoft planner is an office 365 service it's available on this menu right over here so you just log into your office 365 click on this icon over here and then go to all apps and then look for it you will get a planner web part over here right so you can create boards and add your teams tasks and assignments so that's the basic usage of planner also what's the best part you can have you can download an app a mobile app it's available on android and ios so you can basically start adding tasks right from your mobile device and get saved over here so more hazards right everything is in the same page you can move the task around the board and you can drag them or drop them so I just created one over here it's very easy to do just create a new plan like this just type the name set up the privacy levels and then if you want to put up a description in the create plan that's it you get a new plan page so this is one example so we have doc next gen that's our new product right uh, it's uh, it's mainly focused on the modern view right now so I'm pretty excited about it so let's let's go ahead and see how this works right so I have a planner over here I have the title and it's in the public mode what I do is I can go ahead and add different tasks I can create buckets right so I just have to put a name of the bucket so you can categorize your tasks based on the type of the bucket right now I have one it says work on the UI mockups and I have a due date that's on 21st of June I've assigned it to Deborah Berger so basically she needs to work on it I can also assign it to more employees if I want so it's a pretty straightforward tool basically so if I click on charts I can see the number of tasks so I have a dashboard over here it shows me the number of tasks left the buckets and uh, all the details plus the members who's working on the task so I have a complete overview of what's happening for this particular project so if I click on schedule I also have a calendar view again you know I can just go ahead and add the tasks right from the calendar much more easier to do all right so now i have my plan ready so what's the next thing that i need to do is need to add a planner web part simple so i'm going back to my sharepoint site so as you see here it's the latest the modern view by what you see on my screen all you need to do is click on the edit button yeah yeah it was like on the edit mode so i'm just going to show it again just gonna click on the edit button and then I scroll down and I look for the right place where my add-on needs to set so just click over here it says add a new web part and then I can scroll down and I can choose whatever the web parts that I need so I'm just gonna search for planner there you go so I just got a planner web part and it's gonna load and then I can either add a new plan right from the dashboard over here or I can ex search for or I can basically select an existing plan right so I just create one over here I can display as charts or I can display as the board otherwise it works perfectly there you go so just click on publish all right so now I can just do all my task management right from my screen as you see here I can group these tasks based on the buckets, based on the employees assigned to users, the progress, the due date, and the labels, obviously. So I can create different number of labels. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm also gonna share a video on 
which I did last year, it's on Microsoft Planner versus SharePoint Task Management. So I've explained quite a number of features on how to do this, so you can watch the video for more details. So that's it. So this is what I really wanted to demonstrate today. So it's a very easy technique to do it. All you need to do is you need to have the required user access basically. So if you have uh, edit permission, you'll be able to do this easily. So that's it for today. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll be coming with more and more videos in the coming days. So stay tuned. Have a great day.